Hello everyone, the Pokemon Fan993 here, back with more Pokemon Scarlet, the Teal, not, <clears throat> the Integral Disc DLC Part 2. So, yesterday I actually had a power outage of my house because we had snow. It wasn't a lot of snow, but the wind, I think, maybe, uh, I think it might have messed our electrical system. But the first thing you're going to notice is my team is not set up to this team I have down here. And that's because during the last episode, we established that we have to beat three of Drayden's apprentices without, um using a Pokemon that caught outside the Terrium. So unfortunately, Scale, Skelderidge and Breum were. I tried replacing one with Metagross. It didn't work because Metagross actually caught in a raid, which doesn't count even though it's in the Terranium. So, you know, that, that logic is all screwed up. So, in the end, I ended up exchanging um, Breum and Skelderidge for Pyroar and Chinchino. So, as far as I know, we don't have to beat Drayden with this team. We can swap back to Skelderidge and Breum after we beat these guys. Turn my volume just a little bit more because I keep forgetting it gets louder. All right, so now we gotta. So we're gonna talk to this guy now, and we confirm that these Pokemon will work when we battle these guys. So, so we're gonna start with this guy here. All right, so this is a double battle. So I kind of I took into consideration what I need to start with. This is not a gym leader, so I can't imagine he's gonna have very good strategies. But we decided to, I just started to start with um. Both Flygon and uh, Pyroar. Craig the student. He has Rampardos and... Okay, so he actually doesn't have full steel types. That's fine. Mold Breaker breaks the mold. We can go through abilities with that. So we're going to go for Flamethrower here. On Bastionon. I think we're going to Super Power on Rampardos to see if we can one-shot it. But Pokemon should be faster. Okay, that's all I was worried about was Rampardos because of his ability to earn Dig and Rock Slide and a couple other ones as well. Attack and Defense go down for Flygon, but he's only got two Pokemon, so there shouldn't be much of an issue. Pyro goes for Flamethrower. Choice Specs added. It's not enough. Iron Head. On Flygon, Barrow does any damage even with the defense decrease. So we're going to go for another Flamethrower. And since this is his last Pokemon, let's go for another Sewer Power. Boom. Cool. And a critical hit there. Not that that really matters. Great student was defeated. If we're going our like gems. Six thousand eight hundred for winning. That's one out of three down. Now I'm gonna be smart about every single battle. I'm actually gonna go back down. Actually, no, I can't. I can't. There is no healing spot here. So let's just I'll have to use a uh, couple a potion or two. I got plenty of those anyway. You're also gonna notice if you, if anyone's being really perceptive, you're gonna notice that some of my items have gone down. That's because I actually sold a lot of them, so I could build a team that was kind of off camera. Since I had nothing else to do, my my I had my portable battery charge. I was charging my switch. I was like, okay, cool. The power went out, so now I just gotta. I decided to take like. Like the three, I think we were out for like five hours. I said take like three of them. And just like okay, I'll just, just grind raids until the end, of, until it comes back on or whatever. Quite a cool. That's my raid of shiver. Okay, it's weird that if she if she uses ice type Pokemon, it means it means um they're not actually following Drayden's actual Pokemon. Excuse me. I'm gonna clean up my stand over there. Winter the student. So our Pokemon just. So it's interesting to see that his po his trainer's Pokemon aren't all dual types. It's actually interesting to see that. So we're going to go for Flamethrower on Sandslash. This is going to be pretty similar to what I did last time. So Dugong is weak to fighting. Sandslash is weak to fire. Double weak to fire. Okay, so Dugong survived, which actually is a little bit surprising. But Flagon stats really aren't that great, so I guess I can't be surprised too much. Flagon is really balanced, and that's why a lot of, you don't see a lot of people using him. Because there's such a thing as being balanced and being too balanced. Like, Flygon's base base stats are pretty decent. But I think he's more like a supporting character, a supporting Pokemon than anything else. Okay, he goes for Ice Beam. And that's probably going to... It did not one, fly, one hit shot, uh, Flygon. Probably because of the uh, level difference. So I can't stop using Flamethrower. And I'll use Breaking Swipe here to knock it out because I want to uh, save a couple of Super because I need it for the third uh, person here. And then before I, he let before I say Green itself, I gotta see if I can use my po my other Pokemon to fight him. 
when a student was defeated. I can see why Drayton likes you. 6,800 for winning. So I'm never going to need to hear Flygon now because he's taking a lot of damage from that last one. So I got a feeling what they say kind of gives away what Pokemon they're going to be using. So we're actually going to... Um, we're actually going to see what the third person says. We're going to see and we'll see if we can figure out what his thing is. Okay, so he's going to use uh, Electric Pokemon. It really shouldn't give that one away, though. That seems like it makes it too easy. So obviously we're going to want to keep, I think... Yeah, I have Volt Absorb, so let's just do this. Let's do this. Put Flag on and Lantern on the same side. I can go for Dis... I can go for whatever I need to. Go for Rain Dance if I want to, but that's probably a bad idea. And then we're going to face this guy. I don't use Electro-types, and... For those who have never seen my channel, I don't do it very often. I upload a couple of, of like two or three videos of me playing Pokemon Masters. And, you know, I don't like Iono. If the, you guys watched my past videos, you know I don't like her. She's very annoying. And I was playing Pokemon Masters, and I managed to just, like, okay, I guess I got three of those. And I guess I just pull once, and I got her. Because she's the new thing to Pokemon Masters. Like, okay, cool. Maybe she'll be useful at some point. Okay, Lantern Falls in the air with the air balloon. So we're going to go for. Um, we're going to go for Scald on Zebstrika. And then I think we're going to go for Dig on Mangzone. He might go He might go for Bandit Rice, though. So it might be a, a useless attack. I think Volzorb just absorbs any electric, electrical attack, so... Yeah. So they don't seem to be taking... The AI doesn't seem to be in consideration the, uh, the uh, Volt Absorb. So goes for Screech on Flygon. Hang on, my dog's just freaked out. Let me check something real quick. Hang on, guys. Hang on one second. Just give me a minute, guys. Hang on. Sorry about that, guys. My dog likes to bark for some reason at absolutely nothing, and my grandmother, which is the one who only takes care of the dogs while I'm recording, is actually at an appointment that she shouldn't be home for another couple hours, so I figured I'd get the video in while I could. And like I said, he just likes to bark at random times. I don't know if he heard something or what, but I just want to make sure I just check my phone to make sure that um no one texts me about coming over or anything like that. But Ray's dead. <laughs> That was electrifying, all right. 2,800 for winning. Cool. So that's all three down. So that makes, let's see, one, two, three. Nice. You beat all, th you beat all three of them. The elite trial, the elite trial is complete. Remember, assistance retreat on the double. Goodbye, good battle, see ya. The great no grumbling or nothing, bunch of sweethearts. I have to go force you right into the battle, or... You're finally time ready for me in battle. Go ahead, take a change, take a change it up. Unless you want to dive right into battle, no. Got it, no rush on my end. So I should be able to switch Pokemon out now, and he shouldn't be able to say anything about that. So we're going to take away the choice specs from Pyroar, the King's Reference Chino, which I didn't even damn need. And then we're going to replace each one individually with the Pokemon I was using. Alright, cool. Oh, I forgot. Did I, I guess I did take it from Chino. Okay, so like I said before, we are facing Drayden. Steel type. So we're going to start with... This combo of Lantern and Flygon. And see what we can come up with. See what happens. It's supposed to be the hardest member of the Elite Four, so we're going to see what happens here. Ready to take me on, bud? Yes. Alright, it's on. 
I still don't like the guy. There's something off about him. Hmm. Here should be good. You know, I was thinking about, about the look you get when you, you're in a battle. I realize I've I only ever seen what you like that from the sidelines. Because I know what it's like to face you from across the court. Let me be real. I'm counting on you to conquer the whole BB League, bug, bud. I mean, even if pulls off, you got to come through for me. That said, I'm not going to roll over and miss out in the fun, so watch out. No need for us to get all, go, get all official or anything. Just bowing normally you, like you normally would anyone else, Phoenix. Here's 100% drain truth. I'm so psyched and practically tingling. So I'm going to get this rolling nice and easy. Let's go, bud. Show me a good time. You're challenged by Drayton of the BB League Elite Four. He starts with drag. Okay. Wait, he's a dragon type user. What? Didn't the thing. No, nope. This is right. That's right. He is a dragon type user. The fucking water. What's the race was? This is still fine, though. I should be fine like this. Alright. So we're going to go for a ice beam on Flygon to take it out. And we're going to go for a dragon or a breaking sweat to hit both of them. Now, dragon, it most likely has an. Um, has. Um, an ability called multi scale. When multi scale does that, the full HP reduces damage taken. So I have a feeling that Dragonite is going to take. But what I'm hoping is going to happen here is that I'm going to get. Okay, it goes for. He has a bring swipe of his own. Hits both of us. Both of our attacks go down. Air balloon's gone. If I can lost some of the HP, so it's a life orb. I go for my breaking swipe. That's going to take away Dragonite's potential uh, multi scale ability. And then. Lantern, whoa, not a lot of tights can make me eat a super effective hit. Dragonite's attack and Flygon's attack are going to drop. And then hopefully I should get a shot in before Dragonite attacks. But nope, he goes for Ice Spinner. So that's the end of Flygon. I was thinking he had, a, he had a way to deal with other Dragon types, but then we're going to use Ice Beam and take out his Flygon. So right now we're on pretty equal ground. So I know that Dernaline, uh evolution is going to be here. It's Steel Dragon. It knows an ability called Stamina. Basically what Stamina is... I think I'm going to switch to... Should I, I don't know if I switched to Breloom or not. I don't think I should. Let's go to Type Cannon. Anyway. Um, stamina is an attack that every time you use a shot hit and hit your opponent, its defense goes up by one stage. Meaning you need to focus on the special defense of that Pokemon for it to work. Alright, so we can... It's really hard to tell what I should do here, because he has he has Sceptile, which means he's going to go for aggressive move almost certainly. So we're going to switch to Skelderidge, I think, for him. And then we're going to use two cannons attack to go Rock Blast and not to, um, to deal with the with Dragonite. I'm not sure what Dragonite's going to do. He might go for an Ice... I think he might go for an Ice Spinner on two cannon. It's weird. Two cannons now flying for some reason. I wonder why that is. There's the least drum I was expecting. That's also going to cause some damage to him because he's going to lower special attack stat. But he might have a light. Okay, so it goes for Ice Spinner on two cannon. Does quite a bit of damage, but Dan survives. There's Rock Blast. Guaranteed five hits because of Skill Link. So it means Dragonite's going to die on this turn. Okay. So now we're in the lead in terms of Pokemon. I only took four times out of five. Dragonite's gone. Kingdra's next. Kingdra could be interesting to fight. So we're going to go for a Torch Song on Sceptile, and then we're going to go for... This probably won't work. But we're going to go for a Rock Blast on Kingdra. I think Kingdra's going to be faster. Acrobatics, okay. So that does more damage if you don't have an item. Ice Beam. I was expecting that. And Tucana's down. All right. All right. So Torch Song should do a good amount of damage to Sceptile, and it, I'm hoping it knocks it out. Because Torch Song also gives a special, atta well, a special attack boost um, to Skeldridge every time the attack lands. Okay. Let's take a little HP off Skeldridge because he's Life Orb. It's fine. So we're still in the lead, technically. Alright, so now we're going to swap. I think now's a good time to swap back to Lantern. Okay. So this could be a... A slight problem. Um, Hexorus could do a de decent amount of damage. So what I'm planning on doing here, I think, is we're going to go for... Um, 
I think we're going to Terra Fire Torch Song. Wait, is that even a good idea? Probably not. We're going to go for a Shadow Ball on Hex. On, um... No, we're going for Hyper Voice. It's going to hit both of them. And then I'm going to use... I'm going to Terra, I think, no. I'm going to Ice Beam Haxorus. Ah, oh, that's not good. Okay. Hit Kingdra. Hit Scudder and the Lantern. The Lantern survived mainly be, probably because... Wow, that's beautiful. The luck itself has, has, a, has a soft spot for you. Why don't tough it up so you wouldn't feel sad? Hydro Pump. Okay. So Scudder is now down. Um, I don't know how much damage Ice Beam is going to do to, to Haxorus, but this might be bad. If it does full damage, it'd be nice, but I don't think it's going to. No, I didn't think so. Okay. So now we're in a bit of a situation here. However, Broom does have a focus stash. So what I'm planning on do here is I'm planning to go for a mock punch on Haxorus that's going to knock him out. And then most likely, Kinder's going to go for an ice beam on Brewoom to, to one-shot it. That gives me an opportunity to go for a Thunderbolt on Kingdra. As long as Hacker doesn't have like a rocky helmet or something, that sh this strategy should work. Oh, it goes for Hurricane, but it actually misses. Okay, that would have been smart to actually go for an Ice Beam. I don't like Hurricane for that reason. It seems to not hit very often. Okay, here's here's the Pokemon I was worried about. The Arca, Arca whatever the hell his name is. So we're going for a Mock Punch on Kingdra, and then we're going for Arca Luzon. I'm going to go for a... Um... I guess Thunderbolt, because it would do... Wait. Wait, why would it... Is Arcula not Dragon? Oh, d the game doesn't know if it's Dragon or not, so we're going to go for an Ice Beam instead. I forgot, I've never counted this Pokemon before, technically, so... It's going to do that. And then I've got a bit of a problem here, because the only Pokemon I have in my back is Renekulus. Watch the Dragon Ball, take control Ar Arcelugion. The good news is Arcelugion is not fast. So uh, there is a chance that I might be able to knock it out or do a sniffling amount of damage before it dies. The good news is that if I can take down Kingdra during this turn, which it looks like it's going to be likely. I have a chance that our loons will basically be a three on one for at least at least one turn. I also come down what Arcloon is actually gonna go for. Is he gonna is he gonna try one finish three loom? Okay, it goes for flash can so that's gonna hit Lantern. So Lantern's down. Nope. Tough that again for one feel sad. Jesus. I gotta admit that mechanic in this game is broken as hell. But because he did tear the dragon, I do we do super preventive damage now. So now, um, my best bet here is to go for another Mach Punch, because it'll, it'll be, it's effective, plus the Stab Bone, so we're going for an Ice Beam. I think I'm faster than him in both instances, so this shouldn't be too bad. I will get, this, this battle is like with, the, uh, the Fairy was make me sweat a little bit, so there's Dragon Pulse. He's going to go for Lantern, no, he goes for Beelum, which will not knock it out, even though he, it wouldn't have anyway, even without the, uh, Sash. Okay, cool. So, it came close, I'm not gonna lie, we, uh, i say we had, like, I'd say we have equivalent two Pokemon left at full health, with what was left. You defeated Dreden of the BBB, BB Elite Four. That's what I'm talking about. 1,200,800 for winning. <laughs> Man, those ridiculous. So much fun. I knew inviting the League Club was going to be the right move. Guess if you beat me, we better make it a few full matter finally. What do you say? Ready to be the real deal? <laughs> Bless your new dresser. Come on, take a photo of the club for the club roster. My character looks so awkward there. Elite Four is drained defeated. Basically, would probably want more serious a photo. She might not be thrilled, but oh well. I feel like there's one more thing I was supposed to do. Oh, yes, we gotta give TMs to whoever can beat us the Elite Four members. I gotta go grab that. Wait here a second. Is Kieran gonna show up in between? Got a feeling. Okay, maybe not. Sorry for the holdout. I'm back. That's the BB League Elite Four always beating you. Schooled every Elite One of us. Here's reward, like I said. You obtain the TM226 Dragon Shear. Okay, interesting thing about Dragon Cheer. I have no idea if it was done or not, if it was finished. But apparently there was a issue with Dragon Cheer where 
if a Pokemon was switched out with Dragon Shear, the bonus that it gives it, I think it's a critical hit bonus, would actually stay through you switching out, which normally for a game, unless you use Baton Pass, is not possible. So they actually banned it Dragon, uh, temporarily while they were trying to fix the problem. I have not heard any word of it being fixed, but it's not allowed in like the official online tournaments or a lot of people who are running whatever tournament they're running, they're actually banning it entirely until the issue is fixed when they fix that. Use Raise its allies' morale with Dranatic Cries with a future heightened attack of landing critical hits. This rouses dragon type moves more. I should, I, I, I should have cleaned it, but it's a, little, well, it's a little dust between friends. Man, it's just like a blinky you plow to the whole BB League. You know, that you know what's next for you, right, bud? You're good enough to you're good enough to beat all elite four of us. Then you only have the right to challenge the sitting BB League champion, Kieran. You really kept me waiting. Took you a while to beat elite four. Kind of slow for you, isn't it? Nice, Kieran. We got fe got Phoenix on the brain, huh? Same thing about you, Drayden. So we put a lot of effort into helping Phoenix out. I want to help out. New students got to make a got to be good for our fellow humans. That's rich coming from you. When you're planning, it's about to come to an end. Phoenix. So it was a struggle between us, once and for all. Finally time, I'm pumped for you. We have to go sign up the front desk of your championship match going. No sense waiting around. Let's go. Wait, are we actually going? Or do, do I have an option here to, to save? Okay. Well, he we said we have to get going, so I figured he'd take us. Okay. So, if I remember right from what I saw of a screenshot, is that we had to face Kieran in the front of the BB facility. So, obviously, that means that we have to heal. And, obviously, if there is a Elite Four thing, which I don't think there's going to be for Kieran, we're going to go to the Central Station. We're going to heal. And then I had to make a decision here. So, there is... I've heard there's an interaction in the middle of the fight if you take uh, Ogre Pond and you use Ogre Pond in that match. So... Um, the only issue with that is I'm going to show you guys the issue here in a minute after I heal my Pokemon. Do, 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 do. <clears throat> okay. So my next issue is going to be how, how high Ogre Pond's level actually is. So we're going to search for Ogre Pond real quick. You're going to see that Ogre Pond is, only, is like 20 levels lower than it really should be. So, I have to decide on a couple things. One, if I want to go through with what I'm going through and actually level up Ogre Pond with the candies. Or, if I want to keep Breloom in, because I'm going to replace, replace Breloom, and just watch like the interaction. Because, I have to imagine, there has to be some sort of interaction with Ogre Pond, but I can't imagine it being very big because not a lot of people, I don't think a lot of people would. I mean, a lot of people would be malicious and put Ogre Pond in the party. But I'm trying to decide, like, if I should, um... Maybe what I should do, maybe this is going to be me being an ass. Um, maybe if it lets me say before the whole speech with Kieran, maybe I'll just throw Ogre Pond on my party just to see the reaction and then start the game over, start the match over again by resetting it and then... Using my actual team. That sounds like not the. That definitely sounds like not the worst idea I've ever had. So anyway, I do not know what Kieran's type is. I'm going to guess he's going to be using a wide variety of Pokemon. I have a decent variety myself, and I'm going to guess his Pokemon are going to be in their 90s. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to level my Pokemon to 90 each, just to be sure, because I want to make sure I'm strong enough to face Kieran. A lot of his Pokemon were like oh, just under 80, but usually the champions are a lot harder. So I think in between episodes, I'm going to level up Pokemon at least so I, each of my Pokemon is level 90 or higher. Which actually shouldn't be that bad considering how, my, how high my Pokemon are now. I can just use Auto Battle for that. Maybe I'll try to get some, uh, maybe I'll try to get a Shiny Hunt done. Maybe, since I have to knock out Pokemon anyway, might as, might as well use a, um, do a habit or a thing and see if I can find anything worth grabbing. Anyway, that's enough of me rambling. That's going to end this video. With, thank everyone for watching. If you want to see more like, comment, subscribe, we'll get more videos out. This is the Pokemon Fan 1993 signing off. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care.